Okay. Hello everybody, welcome. Uh, yeah, I'm just here. Um, finishing off some pots I made a short while ago. Um, as you can see, I'm using a chuck, which is uh, a bisque-fired thrown uh, device, let's say. <laughs> which you can use when you want to um, trim the bottom of a pot like this where you have a very narrow neck you see you need you need a so yeah you want to center it up and then center the the pot in the in the mouth of the the mouth of the chuck and basically what I'm, what I'm wanting to do with these is just not a great deal actually, it's just I just really wanted to change an angle here on the bevel slightly. Not a lot, just a little. I think that will do it. Yeah. Yeah, I was just changing this bevel here on the bottom. I wanted to. I'm not bothering to uh, carve out a foot ring on these. Um, I'm just going to leave them like that because that's how I originally thought of them. These are going to have uh, a strap handle on the side here. Okay. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, just noticing that the the chuck here has got some. Uh, bit of clay on it there. Yeah, I've not been with you just lately. Um, I, I had an accident actually and I twisted my knee, unfortunately, and it's kept me away from the studio. Um, yeah, I tried to cross a river just over there on the hill. I went up on the hill for a walk. Well, that was my idea anyway, to try to go up on the hill. But in, in the process of, of, of trying to cross, cross the river, I... I twisted my knee and fell headlong into the river. Can you imagine? Talk about classic. Huh. Gosh, it was like... Not only did I fall headlong into the river, I fell backwards headlong into the river. Yeah, in the process of doing it, I, I twisted my knee, you see. And it's really... It's really been painful, so I've just just not been able to get out here. Mind you, it has been pretty cold, so... Save me having to light the fire! <laughs> yeah, make yourself some of these uh, chucks, uh, you'll find them very useful. Uh, for doing just what I'm doing now. It's just to hold it, you see, so it, it doesn't it doesn't topple over. This is not a very good chuck, I have to say, because it's slightly it kind of went out of shape a little bit, so it's. Not as good as it could have been. Yeah, once it's in a chuck like this, you see, you can't really tap center it. But I'm only going to be very quick. I'm just changing the angle on the bevel here, just very slightly. On this bit at the, the base here, you see. Be 
yeah, these are just, these actually were thrown, thrown three pounds of clay and um, so what I want to do to them now is pull some, pull some handles actually. Um, so, yeah, it's just a, these are little, uh, what you call, I don't know what you call them, like flagons, strap handled fl flagons, you know. So it's just a, a strap handle on one side. And, um, yeah. Got a little bit of warm water here, which I use. Are we in the picture? Are we in the picture? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see now. Yeah. Okay, so I've got a lump of clay here. It's kind of more than I need for, for this job. So, yeah. When you pull handles, you want to get yourself some, some clay. It, it's probably a good idea if the clay is a little bit on the stiff side. But if it isn't, just use what you've got, you know? So you see what I'm doing here? I'm just smacking it like this. Sort of elongating it. So, and then I squeeze the end, you see? And then hit it on the end like that. You see, that gives us a, a nice railroad spike. All right. So, got that, I need a board. There it is, a board. So, I only need three handles, so. So the railroad spike, you see, gives you something to hold on to. Grip hold of that, and then dip it in your water, and dip your hand in the water as well, and then start pulling the clay down, you see. So pulling down, Keep your hand wet, keep the clay wet here. All right, you grip it and pull, and pull right off the end. Don't stop before you get to the end. Pull it right off the end, you see. So if you're pulling like, like I am, and um, you, you find that Ooh, there's a bit of a lump or, or not a very nice bit. Just just pinch it off, you see. I'm just looking at that in relation to the pot. Always a good idea when you're doing this. Uh, have a look at the handle in relation to the vessel. The vessel. So when I when I pull handles, I usually I usually pull a few extra. You see, it's so easy to pull a few extra. You don't want to just pull just the number that you need, and then you find that oh, you mess it up for whatever reason, and then you've got to get all your clay out again. And after you put everything away, you know what I mean. <laughs> so just just pull one or two extra. It won't do you any harm. It's all good practice, isn't it? <laughs> practice? What's that sign? <laughs> Never heard the word before. <laughs> dee 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 dee. Yeah. So, I only need three, but I'm pulling five. How about that? Alright, so there they are. Okay. So now this you can put away now. Wrap it up. Wrap it up.
keep your clay wrapped up, okay? There they are, okay? And uh, look at the ends here, you see how they're chopped off? Nice and at right angles to the length. Nicely, cleanly cut off. That's what we need. Now what I would do in, uh, now is, if you weren't here watching me, I would put those to, to one side and come back to them, you see. I'd come back to them because uh, it's best to put them on when they're a little bit stiff, but I'm going to try to put one on now. So, to take one of these guys. It's, it's a good idea to work off a, uh, a banding wheel. All right. You see the the shell pattern there from the from the twisted cutoff wire. So, to make a note of that, because I'm going to put the handle opposite there. So you just wet this here a little bit like this. You see. Score it with your your nail. Okay. Pick out one of these handles. Hold it firmly with a little bit sticking forward like that. Because we're going to just... You've got to be careful when you're putting on handles when they're this soft because um, they're a little bit more prone to bending bending out of shape, you know what I mean? So I'm just now pulling this away from the pot as you see and now I'm going to put him there and have a look at him. Always have a look. He wants to have a little Raise him up a little bit, maybe. Yeah, you want to think of, you know, pottery is very practical craft, isn't it? It's, it's all about, does it, well, this kind of pottery, functional pottery. The question is, does it function? Now, as this dry, as this dries and as it fires in the kiln, this screws up like that. The top of the pot moves clockwise in relation to the body. In other words, it, it, it twists, you see. So you want to put this maybe a little bit to the left, very fractionally to the left. Okay, we're in the picture. Are we in the picture? Let me just zoom that down there. I just want you to see this. Ooh, the battery looks very low. Okay. So I'm just going to finish this off here by... Now you can do this different ways. You can do the, your traditional fishtail or you can... I'm doing... Doing this. There's a bit of a spine down the back there, kind of like. All right. And that's it. Hey folks, thanks for joining us. And um, I'm gonna finish these off now, but battery life is not looking good, so I'm not gonna continue. Please go to my website, uh, simonleachpottery.com. We have got uh, workshop dates there. I'm taking people who are interested in about learning about throwing, that kind of thing. Join, please join us for a workshop and um, I keep practicing workshop it'll be. And um, yeah, you'll find the details there on the website with accommodations, suggestions here locally in B and B's, etc. So please, please, uh, please join us for that. Um, 
and uh, yes, the year ahead looks interesting. <laughs> Gonna be a year of changes, isn't it? Are we ready? That's the question. Okay, folks, well, thanks for joining us and keep practicing. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Dee, dee, dee.